All right, so we're live. Hey guys, it's uh, Fallen Echo coming at you again on our second entry into the coaching series here. Today we're coaching a uh, another um, person in Frag. Uh, the guy is a sea friend in Frag. That's his name. This is his submission. Does here. Okay. First game is up against Captain Cat. Captain's a on the world leaderboards, if I'm not mistaken. So we're rushing right in with Jet, firing right down at a big Paku. Now, I don't know if I would have initiated the fight here with uh, with Jet per se. But I see that you're going and trying to get back behind to do some base damage. That's okay, but you're really low on health in this situation. Uh, if you were going to attack some bases, you should have flew to one of the health packs before running right at the base like that. And uh, here, a little tip for you. Uh, when you know your character's about to die like you were right there with Jet, uh, you can just click the mini-map up there in the top left-hand corner and switch right over to a character right before you die. It'll save you a, a, a lot of crucial time when switching between characters. So if you know it's gonna die, the character's gonna die, you can't get to a health pack, hit that mini map, switch off as quickly as possible and get onto whatever character you feel like you can do the most damage with right away. Now I like this positioning you took up with the Mechanite there, nice and a little far back from the door frame. Uh, I don't know why you walked past the, your shield, probably because you were trying to maybe bait him out there. Um, but you should have stuck right behind your shield. Yeah, and I would have handled him while we were still back there. Um, so far though, I mean, honestly, you're putting up a really good fight, frag for frag with uh, with Cat here. Uh, your team's putting up a good fight too. Now see, I also... Don't know if I would have, I would have probably backed out the tunnel with Eagle Eye because of his range. And that was also a Gankus that you were running up on. I don't know if I would take Eagle Eye on the offensive like that either. But that's just personal preference, I guess. Really, he's good sitting back uh, behind your base and fragging in uh, from a far distance. You have a bunch of them there, yeah, see, and there's a moment right there, the perfect moment. You see three characters, you know you're on Eagle Eye. You could have possibly got a frag, but I would have just switched right off and went to a different character. This is good positioning with Jet. It's good to sit up there and just aim down. So, we have 30 seconds left, and you were just in the lead, but... He fragged one of your guys. I missed two, but uh, he got one of them. Mm. See, with it being this low left on the amount of time, I would have tried to just fly right past him and hit for some base damage. Honestly. Uh, a little. See, some people may think it's a little cheap, but I mean, whatever wins you the fight at the very end, right? So we're in overtime now. That's nice. I like overtime games. That was a good use of your ultimate with Ape Suit. It's unlucky you got fragged down right there. Huh. Okay. So, honestly, we'll stop here for a second uh, to run over a, a few things that I noticed. I think that your mechanical skill is all right. You definitely have a uh, decent aim. Um, you could use a little bit of work with certain characters I saw. Like uh, me personally, I'm not, I, I need to work on my aim with Jet as well. And I noticed that was one of the characters you saw you playing a lot, but I didn't see you hitting most of your shots with. And she is a funky uh, aim controlled character. But another thing, um, maybe especially in a bigger game like that 
you know, try not to take your squishiest character and just rush them right into the very midst of uh, the entire enemy team. Unless you are able, like with Jet or Amelia, to do a sneaky little get back behind the enemy line without them ever seeing you. And that's really tricky to do sometimes, but uh, it can work out pretty well. Anyhow, um, I think that's enough on that first game. Let's go ahead and jump right into the next one. Go back there. <sighs> yeah, YouTube videos for some reason like to load up all slow whenever I'm on DU recorder. All right. See, okay. I definitely wouldn't have used the special ability right there. You were probably just getting a little worried because she was burning you down a little bit quicker than you were her. But you could have taken her out without that, and since it was just her, you'd been to get right over to the health pack. You would have still had your ability. Uh, you just cleaned up anyway. Wow. Good sh good shots. Good tracking. That, that was a good use of the ability right there. So all of them were dead, and you are able to just do around. I think it does around 100 or so damage depending on the level of the ape suit on, on bases. Okay. So you're demolishing this guy. You haven't even jumped off ape suit. But, um, okay. So here's another pointer I can show out. You have 30 health right now. You have health packs all around. And at the current moment when you were running to this tower, not a lot of them are alive. I don't know why they haven't come. There's finally some of them come to get you. Now, see, if you had had a health pack, you could have probably taken one or two of them out right there. But, you know, just being nitpicky. Like, don't don't think that I think you're a terrible player, because I don't. I definitely think you're a decent player. I'm just trying to point out any flaws I can possibly see in order to help you or whoever's watching to become a better player because even some of the things i'm telling you that not to do i do myself sometimes you know good all of them are down we're attacking bases mecha knight's not usually the best base attacker but if that's who you've got and you're there okay <laughs> Right there, another moment where you could have used the mini-map trick I was telling you about. Think about how much quicker you could have been on to your next character and doing damage. And, I don't know if you know this, but switching to a character actually gives them a, a little shield for a slight second. So if you have a character that's taken about to take a lot, a lot of damage and you can time it out just right, you know they're about to get hit by a special, you can jump onto that character and give them a slight shielding from it. And that's a lot more of a technical move than, uh, than the other. Okay, so my thoughts it was definitely a, uh, a good game, good two games, even though you lost your first one. I definitely liked it. Um, honestly, any of the tips that I gave you, those are the main concern that I would, you know, work on in order to continue climbing in the ranks. Where, where you're at right now, um, a lot of what I told you is more or less just uh, for a lot of the uh, higher rank players that you'll come across, like Cap, um, Captain Cat there. So... Make sure that you understand that most of the time, a lot of the tricks that I told you, you probably won't even need when you're going up against bots or level four, five, six players. But um, 
Anyhow, I would really, really like to thank Seafriend here for submitting his footage. I'm going to link him down in the comments below and in the description. I'm also going to um, link you all to all of the other um, Cypress members that I'm doing this coaching series with at the moment. And uh, that way you guys can enter. And if you guys want to enter and your, have your own... Um, gameplay, you know, coached by me or any one of the Cypress team, just uh, record your gameplay, gameplay, excuse me guys, I'm sorry, I have hiccups, record your gameplay, upload it to YouTube, and then email us a link in the uh, email that you will want to uh, send the link to will also be pinned in the comments below but um once again everybody thank you all so much for tuning in i really hope this video was helpful i know that i stammered and stuttered a lot during it but i hope that i helped you all out to become better frag players and i will see you all the next time